गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्कार दिस इज सूरज सिंह प्रोफेशनल इंजीनियर इन इंडिया भारत समबडी आस्क मी अबाउट द रोल ऑफ साइट इंजीनियर्स ऑन कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड बिल्डिंग्स इट्स इट्स अ गुड क्वेश्चन बट बट वी शुड डिस्कस व्हाट एक्चुअली साइट इंजीनियर इज हाउ कैन वी डिफाइन अ साइट इंजीनियर इज एवरीबडी साइट इंजीनियर और साइट इंजीनियर इज स्पेसिफिक टर्म फॉर दिस लेट अस स्टार्ट बाय कंसीडरिंग the definition of engineer what is engineer engineer or a civil engineer you can say in a contractual engineer any project of government anywhere in the world or any other project is based on contract documents and contract documents come from all classes of engineering including site engineering professional engineering professional uh, design engineering specifications designs and contractual conditions i call all these as contract documents all contract documents defines various terms engineer is also one of those several terms engineer in contracting engineer is a person who is responsible for the adequacy of the design adequacy of the execution adequacy of the supervision and controlling the technical budget and engineer is supposed to respond to the owner or the real client any responsibility on that project has to be shared by the designated contractual engineer the confusion should be avoided that everybody is engineer who is working on the project yes everybody is working on engineering or in construction or in design but the contract for the judicial terms goes to that engineer who has been named in that contract either by the position or by the name any one of these two generally it is by the position i have seen several international contracts and where the term engineer is used for either the director of the department or any specific term is engineer means any person who is responsible for all these definitions or all, uh, all these responsibilities and liabilities that i have prescribed who is engineer in our country in government department any engineer of the level of chief engineer should be called contractual engineer he is responsible for the project financially technically engineering wise and with any liability if you generalize it like this that engineer is the chief engineer chief here doesn't mean administrative chief chief here means an officer who can decide about the technical matters on any project or any design or any execution like that but he alone cannot work keeping in mind the size of the work the quantity of the work he he awards contracts in consultation with the owner actually owner of the awards the contract the engineer is a consultant for the owner we should take it that way and contract is awarded to the contractor in general who is a professional one registered with the department or an official for any client this contractor signs a contract with the client with the owner owner is one party here and contractor is another party party 1 party 2 engineer is in between engineer is an independent position to work on that contract to administer that contract in this case you can say engineer is in the capacity of a technical administrator a contract administrator a rate administrator an execution administrator this engineer ha- ha- got lot many responsibilities and this will be shared on commands of the engineer to many persons who will be employed as engineers to report to this engineer contractual engineer now contractor appoints his own team 
to execute the job or to carry out the job or to perform the contract successfully. Contractor is asked according to contractual conditions to appoint various officials on site in the capacity as engineers. Let us say the first one is the person who would represent any site, any project. The designation in general is used according to United Kingdom rules, is site agent or site manager or project engineer or project manager or construction manager by whatever name you call it, but contractual name is contract representative or site agent or site representative. Site representative is a person who would work on behalf of the contractor, report to the contractor as well as functional report to engineer through another person who would be deployed by the engineer on the project. Since engineer is in no position present or available on site, it is not possible, it is impossible. Because engineer is very high designation and engineer works on many projects. He would employ one engineer for him as his eyes on site, as his mind on site, as his receiver on site, whose designation would be resident engineer. That resident engineer is a contractual term. He, will, he may be designated as project manager, he may be designated as supervisor, or anything according to each engineer's headache, how he manages it. But these responsibilities, he has to give him complete supervision responsibility on site, all other responsibility on site, with the exception of additional items, extra items, or financial controls. Resident, resident engineer would be a person working on behalf of the contractual engineer and would take all the responsibilities himself, physically, mentally, but cost. This is a very important position. Resident engineer is a person on site to do the job of supervision and controls. We can say here are two kings. One is resident engineer on behalf of the engineer and one is site agent on behalf of contractor. Both are counterparts to each other. They are equal. How it works? Resident engineer would be supported by many other specialist engineers, which include structural engineer on site, quality engineer on site, planning engineer on site, clerk of work on site, superintendent of site, services engineers on site, architect on site, and many more, depending on the requirement of the site. Similarly, site agent will be supported by many engineers and other staff on site depending on the requirement. For example, site engineer can be supported by four or five engineers or any number of engineers to take care of the sections of the project if the project is vast in magnitude, vast in size. And these can be of the level of senior site engineers or can be called construction managers or any other designation can be given to them. These can be further supported by general foreman, foreman, charge hand, like that. Site engineer can, site uh, agent can be called chief site engineer. He can also be given another section that is a quality engineer section, quality assurance or quality requirement section. There will be another one, safety section, safety engineering section, planning section, material section, administration section, labor, welfare section, like that. He will be given supports of all these, which would jointly work on site in a team, and site agent will be responsible for all their working. So both site agent and resident engineer would make a collaborative team, coordinated team, they would do the work on the project to successfully perform the contract. This is what the team is. Let's go to the next one, how they work, what's our duties, etc. So in the next video, thank you very much. This is Surah Singh. Bye.